Hello. <coughs> well, it feels like forever since I've done one of these. Uh, I've just been doing a lot of training um, and a bit of bulk, which has just been stone boat and same old, same old sort of thing. It's 3rd of October now. Uh, <coughs> Sugar beet still hasn't started. It's uh, not looking great out there for that. Um, I'm off to Sweden, off to Gothenburg. So not been up there well, a good few years now. Uh, so it's going to make a nice change. See if uh, see if the road's still as busy up towards Hamburg. I'm sure it is, and I'm sure there's plenty of road work still. So <coughs> I went down to farm this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Picked the dog up. Which is a lovely dog. I'll try and get a bit of footage of it later on. Um, it's a Doberman. I was going to say Dalmatian, but it's definitely a Doberman. Uh, pick the dog up, all the paperwork, straight down the train, book on, and straight round and queue, and on we go. So, which is nice. So, yeah, now uh, that's my view currently, which is fairly exciting. So, um, yeah, just going to try and piece something together. Uh, no idea where whether I'll be going anywhere sort of onwards from Gothenburg, or whether I'll be running just back. Or not, I guess perhaps a skip hole, or I suppose even down to Frankfurt. Now I'm across the water. Who knows? I'm not even going to speculate with that. So uh, yeah, should be quite a nice little jolly. Weather's still quite warm. Uh, so still got my shorts on, still hanging in there, just about. Uh, so yeah, we'll just um, see how it goes. So the route is just going to be roughly um, Antwerp across <clears throat> into Germany, sort of around the Ruhr. Then head north. Yeah, I've not been that way for blooming ages. So, uh, yeah, quite a pleasant change. So anyway, enough of my waffling. I'm going to try and mount this in the window because I did try earlier and it just fell off. So, uh, but then the M25 isn't exactly exciting, is it, to be fair? And I've filmed it many a time. So anyway, I will shut up now and I'll see what of interest I can find. <coughs> this isn't a great start. Huh. So I've been on the train I don't know, however long, over half an hour, some of that at least, and it won't go. <laughs> so we're now getting off the train to go, well, I don't know where, go around to get a different train, I guess. So I should have been in France by now, and I still haven't got out of England, which uh, isn't ideal when you've got a long way to go. So I've managed to... Uh, I think what I've done as well with the camera, I've forgotten, um, I normally have an, an additional piece to bend it round um, on this van screen and uh, I don't think I've got it with me because the last time it's been used has been in the truck by the look of things. So uh, luckily it fits in the cup holder fairly well, so hopefully That'll work there for for the week. Oh, what a shambles. <laughs> do, 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 do. I just sort of lay down across the seats to try and uh, shut my eyes, but it didn't quite work. So sort of aware that we weren't moving. just been <clears throat> through the um, ugh, the tunnel at Antwerp, 
the name, not the Kennedy Tunnel, the other one. Uh, Leaf and Clock. Um, <coughs> which looks like it's worked out a damn sight better than going the other way. And we're going to come around the corner in a minute. You'll probably see the Q Southbound, there it is. <laughs> As I went over the top, I looked and thought, oh, blooming heck, I'm glad I'm. Uh, Glad I'm not heading that way. Um, <coughs> so you can't come to Belgium and not have a queue, can you? They, they like a good honest queue here. So, uh, so yeah, it was, it was a little bit slow going through the tunnel, but nothing too horrendous, thankfully. Hopefully by the time we get into Germany, that'll all be running a bit clearer than uh, if I've been a bit earlier. If that makes any sense. Hopefully. That's to me in my head anyway. So I've just stopped for diesel. Um, and just <clears throat> a little while before I did, I overtook this lot. So, and I sort of started going past them all and I thought, blimey, there's a lot of them. Shame I haven't got my camera rolling. Well, uh, now I have. So, uh, I don't know how well it's going to come out in the dark mine, but this uh, HST, I thought they had something to do with hoister cam, but I don't think they are. One, some have got ADR, some haven't. Two, I really know I need to get out more get a life. Three. Well that's a subby. Anorak hat on. Make, make quite a good nice sight during the day. So four. Come on, Go on boy. I'm doing 90. Five. Six. yesterday in England. Uh, still still got the shorts on. In fact, I, I had my coat on last night. I don't really know why. And uh, it's far too warm wearing that this morning, walking the, walking the hound. Uh, oh, flipping heck. Oh, 
definitely got a cold then. I was hoping it was just uh, something minor. So, uh, yeah, woke up before my alarm once again. That worked out well, really, because I had half an hour to kill before breakfast actually opened. So, um, just walked the dog up and down, stretch his legs. Uh, still got 520 odd K to go. So I'll be there sort of early afternoon. It's now what, seven o'clock? Uh, well, half seven, roughly. Shaping up to be a beautiful day. It's a bit slow across here. <laughs> Let me just. Uh... <laughs> Don't know how well that's come out, going to. Bitty bitty. Oh. If uh, depending on what's going on after, what the light is like, I think it'd be quite good to get down the bottom there and be drone and just take a f take a few snaps. And we'll see. Uh, dark I suppose by the time we get back over here. Unless it's tomorrow of course. No way. Don't worry about that near the time once once this one has been delivered. Well there's a couple of couple of KBs uh, waiting to get on the boat. I wonder if I know who they are. Probably not. <laughs> Oh, this would be different going up the top. Oh shush, don't even know what that sense is. <laughs> Hello Denmark, it's been a while. So, turns out my mate Steve Crawley was on the boat, <laughs> on the phone to Sam and uh, I turned around and he sat there having his breakfast. <laughs> So it's nice to have a catch up with him and his mate Martin. I, I sort of recognise that chap, but I can't picture where from, so I don't know if he's 
probably won't see me or hear me, but. Probably not. Here's Steve. Well, at least somebody saw me anyway. <laughs>
artificial border. Passport check. I thought that would happen. Uh, I just see this truck coming through, and uh, just trying to work out what. Maybe an hour and stop for a coffee and stroll the pooch, that move. 